Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing Gears of War Ultimate Edition on the GeForce GTX 750 Ti with Overclock. I added 200MHz to the core and 400MHz to the VRAM. For PS Monitoring I won't be using CAM this time, This since this is a universal Windows application. So there is no way to use overlays like CAM or MSI Afterburner right now, so uh, I, will, I won't be using that. The game has an in-game FPS monitoring tool, but I won't be using that since it's very small, so it will be hard for you to, to see on the video due to the compression of YouTube. But, well, I'll start with 1080p, then 900p, and finally 720p. For 1080p, in order to maintain 30 frames per second, I had to keep shadows on low, and the rest, well, on as high as possible. But textures I had to use medium, since medium textures are for 2GB of VRAM video cards. Then you have a 3GB of, of VRAM option, a 4GB and a 6GB of VRAM option. But I won't be using that since this card only has 2GB of VRAM. Medium shadows don't make much of a difference from high shadows in performance. I mean if I'm getting 25 FPS on high shadows, on medium shadows I get like 27. So it's kind of ridiculous there. But low shadows, I mean, it's pretty much no shadows whatsoever. It's like turning shadows off. The character shadows are gone. But the game doesn't look half bad, I have to say. This is on Real Engine 4. And then on 900p, I can, I can use medium shadows for the most part. But uh, there are some drops below 30 every now and then. I'm using B-Sync since the game won't be maintaining over 60 fps anytime soon with these settings and if i turn off vsync i cannot use the fps monitoring tool i'm using in the bottom left corner of the video so it wouldn't make any sense but you can use uncapped frame rates without an issue but the game will be very inconsistent i mean when you're fighting sometimes you get drops to 28 fps but then you're walking and you get like 80 fps and it's kind of uh, inconsistent so my suggestion is that you cap the game at 30 frames per second. I do that in a part of this video, so check the description below to know when I cap it at 30. But then on 900p and 720p you can pretty much use better settings, you can use shadows, I mean medium or high shadows. And then in, at the end of the video I tried to get to 60fps, in order to do that I had to use 720p and pretty much low settings, I mean sh low shadows and I mean occlusion turn off, and there you get around 58 to 60fps with this thing turned on and a 60fps cap of course since my monitor can't go anywhere above that, but yeah the game is still a terrible port. This is a Windows Store exclusive, and uh, it's Dardex 12, so it might run better on a MD card, we'll see later. I'll test this later on the GTX 950 and the R7 and so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, and I hope I see you in the next video. Bye! Control, this is Delta. We have visuals on Alpha. Possible KIA. No sign of resonator. Roger that, Delta. Keep looking. I'll open the door. I've got the code.
Reinforcements! Take cover! That one was on the house. Good luck, Delta. Get up those stairs. Help is waiting. Okay, man, here we go. You still got it? I guess we'll find out, huh? <sighs> Who's next? Control, this is Delta. We have visuals on Alpha. Possible KIA. No sign of resonator. Enemy reinforcements! Take cover! Nice! That one was on the house. Good luck, Delta. Get up those stairs. Alpha's waiting. Okay, man. Here we go. You still got it? I guess we'll find out, huh?
Marcus! Flank him! Marcus, flank left! Take cover! That one was on the house. Good luck, Delta. Get up those stairs. Alpha's waiting. Okay, man. Here we go. You still got it? I guess we'll find out, huh? Who's next? Lock and load. Oh, shit. Control, this is Delta. We have visuals on Alpha. Possible KIA. No sign of resonator. Roger that, Delta. Keep looking. 